Hi, it's Josie, and today I'd like to talk to you about training your horse, and in particular, up transitions. Up and down transitions are a very important basic building block, and you need to understand it and how to do it, and then your horse needs to understand it and how to do it. So by the end of this video, you should understand how to do an up transition, and then you should understand how to train it to your horse. What I'd like you to do is take the time it takes to learn it yourself. It's a bit like thinking about driving the car when you're trying to change gears with a clutch. You have to take the time to learn it and you don't do it very well in the beginning, but then it becomes second nature and before you know it, you can change gears and chat to your friend in the car with you. And then you can use it as one of your building blocks and add something else onto it. When we're doing this in the beginning and you're learning it, don't worry about putting the horse on the bit because being on the bit and doing an up transition is two things. We only teach our horses one thing at a time and we should only teach ourselves one thing at a time. So we do the up transition, then we teach, when it comes to a horse, we teach the horse to go on the bit, not in a transition. They learn to go on the bit going forward and then you put them on the bit in a transition, two things at once. So we keep things really basic to start with. You need to have a scale in your head that you use um, to get your horses to respond to an aid. Mine go from one to 10. One being the most subtlest, 10 being a pretty loud, excuse me, let's do this. You need to decide where you're happy to have your horse answering your aids and then that is your point at all times. So I like my horses to go from a one to a three-ish in there. I don't have a specific number because all horses have good days and bad days, but as long as they're responding between a one and a three, I'm happy. If I have to go above that, that's called a correction. And you must go back, if you've done a correction, you must go back and repeat the aid until your horse gives you the aid within the window period that you're happy to have. This is how you get your horses to respond to light aids. So you never leave an aid on a correction. You always leave an aid on that little window where you're happy to accept it. And just as a little adjunct there, when I'm on a really green horse, I don't expect them to answer between a one and a three because they're green and they're actually just learning what all the aids mean. I like my horses to go from a one to a three and I like that because I want them to go from my seat. Why do I want them to go from my seat? Because I would like to keep my legs for lateral movements and bend. So if you're having to use your legs all the time to get your horse to go, you lose a little bit of the subtlety when it comes to bend and lateral work. Let's get on and do some transitions and see what it looks like. So an up transition starts from my seat always. A one is just asking with my seat. Uh, a two to a three, I'm starting to ask with my um, legs. A four, five, six, my legs are getting stronger and ending up in quite a bit of a bump or a kick if you like. And then the, it will end up in the uh, with a tap of the whip if the horse doesn't go. So, And I move up that reasonably quickly the first thing I do before I give my horse any aid is I pick my body up. Now, to me, that doesn't fit on the scale. That's zero, but it's something I do before I do anything with my horse because it's just a warning to him if he's daydreaming a bit to come back to me because we're about to do something. How do I pick my body up? I sort of pick my, it's hard to explain to you, but I pick my core up within myself so you engage your core, pull your belly button to your backbone, but none of this is done really hard. This is all very sensitive. Horses are sensitive. So, and I sort of grow a tiny bit taller in the saddle. I just, it's a little stretch that you wouldn't see, but my horses can feel through my seat. And if you watch your horse's ears, your ears will tell you where your horse is. If he's daydreaming out that way and I pick my seat up, there you go. He, um, he came back to me. The aids happen a little bit quicker than I can say to you when I'm doing an up transition. But when you're teaching yourself and you're teaching your horse, slow it right down so that you can do it bit by bit. So I'll see if I can do one a little slower. 
It, so I'm not going to worry about whether he's on the bit or where his head is. I don't care. At the moment, I'm teaching him an up transition. So I pick myself up. I use my seat. What do I mean by that? I tip my seat on him. And that's where I really would like my horse to go. And if he doesn't go from that, I add my legs. If he doesn't go from that, they will get stronger. If he doesn't go from that, I'll bump him with my heel. If he doesn't go from that, he'll get a little kick. And if he doesn't go from that, he'll get a tap with the whip. So let's see if we can do that. Growing tall, a listening rebel, seat on, legs on, not listening, bump, bump. Okay, so he actually didn't go there until I personally feel I got to about a seven. So I need to correct that. So I'll sit up taller. Are you listening? Seat on, legs on, bump, bump. Yep, so he's still going from a bump. It's a bit sleepy this morning. It is early here. So I need to correct that again. I do just let, I don't stop him as soon as he goes. You'll see there that I let him trot on a bit because I, if I keep stopping him, I'm almost correcting him from going. So I'm gonna sit up tall, I'm gonna tip my seat, legs are on. Okay, so there he went from about a five, but it's still not good enough for, for him. So we'll do another one, because that was classified as a correction. I don't care where his head is. Straighten you up a bit, mate. Okay, so now he's going forward. I'm gonna pick myself up, tip my seat and legs. Okay, that was possibly a four. I would like him to go from a lighter eight. If I was a young green horse, I'd be very happy with that. But he's not. So I'm gonna pick my seat up. Is he listening to me? I can feel when he listens to me as well. He, he changes underneath me, which is why you need to try and get yourself a a uh, soft subtle seat because then you feel what the horse does so I picked myself up added a tiny yeah that was a good transition he started to go from probably a three is he is he forward and full of energy as I want no but I'm not doing that at the moment we are just doing an up transition So we do it again, I grow a little bit taller, I'll tip my seat and a little bit of leg. Good boy. Whoops, and I fell back into the back of the saddle. Be nice and forward in walk. Yes, I'm just moving up this, pick myself up, tip my seat, and he went from a three there. He went from the seat and just a tiny hug from my legs. When I hug with my legs, by the way, to give a leg aid to my horse, it's my calf that does it, the middle of my calf, and I think about pushing my right calf towards his left shoulder and my left calf towards his right shoulder. It's not, um, the, it's not, this is my legs on his side. It's not a squish like that. It's actually like that. It's a come forward. So my right leg goes a little towards the left shoulder and it's a squeeze forward. I'm pushing him in the direction I want him. And it's as subtle as I can make it but as much as I need. One thing I want to tell you, if you correct your horse, yeah, because he wouldn't go then and he does that, you can't grab hold of him. You have to pat him and tell him he's a good boy because he went forward. He just went forward with more energy than you wanted, but he shouldn't be punished for that. I've done a video of how I teach horses this in the very beginning when they're very green and I'm just starting them under saddle. I'll link that one up here if you want to go and have a look at that. So sitting up tall, asking him to go forward and yep, good boy. So that would have been a three. So once your horse understands go aids and you're pretty happy you've got them and he also understands going forward on the bit, you can put them together. So now I have him on the bit in walk and now I'm gonna ask him to trot. Grow tall, yep, good boy. And then he does the transition 
on the bit. Hope you enjoyed that and I hope that helps.